spoiled brat, I believe. I personally don't care what they call it, as long as you're doing it while you're signing your will over to me. And you will sign the will! What do you know that I don't? It's funny that you should ask that. I know that Joey is still missing, and your will is still not in force. Until he's found. Well, you see, there's one more thing that I know that you don't. Joey isn't really missing. At least not to me. I know exactly where he is. Where's that? I have him. <laughs> and he's not going to get through this if he remains your beneficiary. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? You are many things, Blanche. And most of them are my fault. You are unethical. You are... You are unethical and worthless. But I can't blame you for that. But the one thing you are not is a murderess, and I won't believe it. Are you willing to take the chance with Joey's life? Hmm? I assure you, I will do whatever I have to do. Anything. But what's mine? Anything. I'm going to leave now. So you just give that a little thought. Oh. And if you ever try to contact Morris again, Joey's going to pay for it. Are we clear? You can talk to him if you'd like, but he hasn't been very responsive so far. Who knows? Maybe he'll talk mm -hmm. to us. Good luck. Mm. Nigel, remember we're here on business. Kiss my ass, Holly. Mm -hmm. You don't own me. You're such mm -hmm. a whore. Medeo, mm -hmm. can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Holly, Nigel, I didn't think I had any friends left, except my family. <laughs> family, as if any other Sorrento other than you even acknowledges my existence. You know what I mean, don't you, Medeo? Yeah, uppity bastards. They don't really accept you for who you are, do they? I never have. Antonio. He treats me like a child. And he bosses me around. And Joey. Well, he thinks he's better than me. God. Poor Joey. Medeo, you can tell me. Nigel and me will understand. What happened at Soul and Bones that night? Yeah. You were there, weren't you? And then you disappeared afterward. You know something, don't you? Hmm? Hmm? Knock that shit off, pussy talk! Nigel. Medeo's family. Best part of family, as far as I'm concerned. That's true to me. Medeo. Please, tell me, 
You know more than the cops do at this point. <laughs> Tell me what you know. <laughs> Was a hit. Mob hit. I knew it, you stupid Nigel. Mob. Shut your goddamn mouth. I'm warning you, Holly. Nigel, please. It's not gonna help anything. We have a chance here. Maybe at what we've always wanted. Don't blow it. Don't talk to me about blowing it. Nigel, you're right. Let's not worry about that. Let's let Medeo tell us. Let's listen to him. Mm -hmm. What about this mm -hmm. one hit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone. Someone was cooking the books. I mean, besides me. I took a little blow every now and then, but this was some serious shit. Big money. I mean, mob money. But then, they burned it. They torched it. And it wasn't you? No. Who then? <laughs> Who cooked it? Joey? Mm -hmm. You're telling me Joey was in on the mob for this? And they hit him? <laughs> Who else would be in on it? And all those oh, kids shit. died because of him. Because he owed the mob. Mm -hmm. And Tori, don't forget that. I, I guess. Shit. <laughs> Thanks, Medeo, that helps. Uh, what the fuck? We got him. Uh, Finally, Joey. He might as well have murdered those kids, and Antonio's gonna be happier than pig and shit to hear Joey killed his precious Tori. I don't get it. Of course you don't. It's called blackmail, dumbass. How much is Blanche gonna pay us to keep our mouths shut about Joey? Mm -hmm. Really rich, Nigel. Filthy rich. Mm -hmm. Okay, nurse, we're ready now. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa. My fellow citizens are proper. We have lost a great many of our own. The pain is deep and it is real. It is a hurt that would be felt by our small town for the rest of our days, forever how long that may be. That is perhaps the greatest lessons learned from these wonderful young people we honor today that have taught us that we never know how many days we have left upon this earth. We should live each and every day as if it is our last, because one day, that day will come. Now I ask you to follow me to the fellowship hall for a memorial service befitting for the young, vibrant lives that we have lost and to celebrate the lives that they have lived with joy, smiles, and love. 